people today we're changing the tire on my mp3 500s as you can see i already took the exhaust off you got literally two screws this one at the top goes there and this one at the bottom goes there got new tire ready that's the size right let's start but just make sure you have all the tools ready so you're gonna need one of these bits you can get a complete set for less than 10 quid in screw fix to remove this to get to your ABS sensor you're gonna need number 10 for these screws and you're gonna need number 22 for the main nut and you're gonna need needle nose pliers to remove this pin okay This is to remove the shock absorber. So 
So you just undo the nut, pull it out, keep it safe. Just pull it out like that. And now you should be able to slide this off. Right, after you loosen this thing and these screws are removed, just yank it. You need to remove this cover because that was stopping it so I couldn't pull it out. And then slow. Just mind these ones here. And that's it. Now you have access to the wheel, wear gloves. All right, the next thing is socket number 10. I suspect we'll need to loosen the caliper as well, but I'll have a look when I get to it. Okay, we don't have to loosen the caliper. The tire is coming off. The wheel is coming off. off as you can see it's completely bald in the middle definitely needs replacing so we'll see what happens another problem I have I think that's an MOT failure need to replace that as well so never-ending job with these ones to this video but I'm just wondering can this be replaced or do I need to replace the whole shock absorber okay now the boring bit if you're interested how to put everything back
Dit is number 10 voor deze nacht. Right, the shock of the door. gonna be a pain. Try and do these two first. See if you can those bolts if you can.
don't forget this bit for the exhaust that comes in here in this hole. Where the sensor, the ABS sensor, goes back here. Room hole. This one here.
Sorry, don't forget this washer thing for the wheel. Goes straight on there. Need a torque wrench for this one. I'll get back to you in a sec with the correct torque. Okay, I'm going with 110. I think I read somewhere it's between 100 and ten and hundred and twenty-seven. That's it. 